What you know, wasn't fair? The oh election. Don't get me started. What the, wasn't well, fair? Okay. Well, the how election. How about the suppression of the Hunter Biden laugh tax urge? Just, just for one. Oh, for fuck's sake! Really? Oh, then, then you're, then we're not as alike as you think. That's okay. A, that's a stupid non-story. I mean, yes. Says who? There are polls that show some 10 to 12 percent of the electorate says they would have changed their mind had they seen it, had they known it, it, about it. It wasn't right. It wasn't right to suppress it. But nobody gives a fuck about about Hunter Biden's so you dick. Say nobody, you're talking about yourself. I'm telling no, no, you, no. there there are data to Those show people all... did care. They they, they said they would have changed who was their vote. Go, nobody who was going to vote for Trump anyway, or Biden anyway. I mean, it wasn't to... about Hunter Biden's man parts. It was about the scandal of his corruption and his dad's corruption. <laughs> Hey there, my name is Devore Darkens. Welcome back to my channel, Mindset Politics. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing this clip with Megyn Kelly versus Bill Maher. This is on her own show, The Megyn Kelly Show. And uh, Megyn Kelly is uh, definitely on the right. Bill Maher is definitely on the left. And the cool thing about this video is just the mindset. That's what I really want to dive in and how most political conversations, I believe, should be handled the way that she handled this, okay? Because... It's fine to have your opinion, I have my opinion, to have my values and belief system, and you have yours. That's great. And there's nothing wrong with disagreement. We need to have more respectable disagreement between each other because we get to learn more and more and more. Now, before I go any further, you already know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe. Play the video. Bill, I used to Again. think that that Hunter Biden was a hot mess and Joe Biden was embarrassed by him but had to deal. Now I really think he was doing Joe Biden's bidding. Joe Biden is the bad guy who sent his drug-addled son out there to collect money. That's what the laptop... Yeah, but before we go any further, I mean, most people, this is like, uh, what do you call this? So we call this Trump derangement syndrome, meaning someone who immediately hears any type of uh, claim or statement that is against joe biden or his son or anything like that relating to the election they don't want to hear it it's an automatic i'm going to close down walls up can't comprehend anything you're saying after that that's where i just think mindset wise it's sad for someone like bill maher with his resume and how far he's come in his own career and what he's been able to do and it just shows you that Two things could be true at the same time. Someone could be very successful in their career and just not have the right perception about what's truly going on around them in their community, in the country, or even in the world. And even if, let's say what Megyn Kelly is saying isn't even true, the suppression of information, that right there is a problem. And he should be upset about that. But he's blowing it off because he's so disconnected from reality. He's out of touch, as we say. And that's more important than what I was bringing up about not abiding by election results, mm -hmm. not not respecting what always made this country great, the peaceful transference of power. I, see, I don't you, disagree you, with you on that. You're not you, going to get me to say it's, it was well, a great I mean, thing but, the way but, Trump but behaved. I don't have to get you to agree or disagree. You're obviously someone who looks at an elephant and a mouse and cannot tell which one is bigger. I, d I disagree. I think I know. You, that's projection by you because I look no, at I Joe mean, that's Biden. How I, who, that's how I see you. Well, let's talk after, about uh, why are you telling me this. Up? I mean, this is such. This is yeah. See, so now emotionally, he's out of control, right? So she made a statement, a fact. It is a fact that Hunter Biden has a laptop. It is a fact that on that laptop there is videos and data that showed that he was a drug addict, that he did commit crimes, that he did coke. Uh, there are other documents on there that show that there was some type of conflict of interest of him getting paid from the Ukrainian government, by the way. Um, and so at the time of the election, it was suppressed and nobody gave it any credit or attention. And the people who wanted to were called conspiracy theorists. Right. And now that Hunter Biden was found guilty of a felony for trying to buy a firearm, the, the point, though, is during the trial, in order to get him convicted, they use the information on his laptop. So, you know, for Bill Maher to come back and, and just do the whole character assassination, right? I see you as a person who can't tell the difference between an elephant and a mouse. That's where politics always goes off. 
the rails, right? So she's not on here doing any character assassinations on him. She's just spitting facts and then she's asking questions. And the problem that I notice with the left is as soon as you ask a question, they get emotionally triggered and they respond back with negativity, not with calmness and wanting to truly understand and find common ground. T typical right wing talking points, the evil Hunter Biden and the evil Joe Biden. And look, I do care. I do I, I like them? No, I, I don't particularly like that. I think they're very flawed. Listen, it, listen. It's not nearly on you're the just scale. Mi you're misstating my it's argument. You're misstating my argument. That Hunter Biden just now on the laptop was brought up as evidence of how the election was not fair. He's not a reason necessarily to not vote for Joe Biden. The reason not to vote for Joe Biden is his policies. You, you're not woke. He's as woke, or at least his policies are as they come the open border bill how could how could anybody vote for somebody who keeps this border open with the number of rapes uh, uh, and the number of murders and the numbers of crimes going well, on with these immigrants yeah, but again these are the normal sorts of issues we've always had in this country yeah that see a bill maher he's so out of touch that i said this in another video the problem with people in, in politics or anyone who is is really commenting on politics let's say celebrities right uh, Hollywood, mainstream media, okay, uh, athletes, uh, even politicians, which is funny, the irony, because they're in politics. 99% of the time, you know what they all have in common? Is they have no way of relating to a 19-year-old who's working a minimum wage job. They have no way of relating to someone who just got out of the military and can't get the VA to pay them any disability and they're having a hard time finding finding a job. They, they, they don't know what it's like to be a single mother out there with multiple kids and they're on welfare and WIC. They, these individuals, most of them have no idea. And even if they grew up in that, they are so far removed they barely, they, they barely can see it from that person's point of view. So when they're commenting on, on politics and these social issues, they're commenting from the perception of where they are in their life today, not where they were 20 years ago when they were struggling. See, it's, it's a different, think about it. The person you are when you were struggling down and out, didn't have any money, is different than the person who has their money right, is living the life that they want because you have evolved with your thinking. It's a different mindset. And what happens is that old person has been killed off mentally. You're no longer that person anymore. So a lot of these people, they're so far removed, they can't comprehend anymore th th these issues that people are having. So when these issues are brought up, when, the, when these policies are challenged, when people are out there telling them why this isn't going to work, they can't see it that way because they're looking at it from their place and where they are in their life. And that's really the issue here. That should be taken care of through the normal process we've had. You're talking about the difference, some, this, well, I'm talking about the difference between this and something fundamental, which is our democracy. The fact that you have to respect who wins an election or else you don't. Listen, at the end of the day, that is more of an emotional state and expectation, right? Let's say what he is saying is true. Let's say that everything that they say Donald Trump did is true. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, how bad is that really? Based on the way that the government is constructed, does he truly have the power to overthrow the government? No, he doesn't. This isn't communism. OK, he does not have the ability to overthrow the government because there's too many checks and balances in the system. Obviously, there's three branches of government. But within those three branches, there are multiple departments and figureheads and other people that are in charge of their arena. There's too many people, right, that balances out the equation in the government, preventing someone from preventing one person uh, to from overthrowing the uh, government. It's just not a reality. But th what they do is they 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 go to the 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 extreme when they describe the situation. They go to the extreme because they are emotionally charged and triggered. And so what happens is they they, they have no way of describing objectively what the facts are and what should have happened instead so on and so forth, right? Let's see what else this guy has to say. 
have the kind of country we've always had before. How about... I mean, I feel like we keep going around the rosebush ro bush about this, and we're not going to make any progress, so let's stop talking about it. But, uh, you know... Uh, I just, I mean, you, you keep saying... Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't want to talk about it because it would require him to see things from a different perspective. And this is what I see in my own life, and I've always been this way, you know, as a person who does life coaching for people and, and their mindset and personal development. I own my own uh, business and things like that, so I manage people. The one thing I've learned is I would rather just ask questions and understand where someone is coming from, right? I, I want to be interested in, in seeing their point of view. It's about success. It's about getting the results that you want. It's about growth. If you're just stuck in the way that you think, that means you're never going to grow. Uh, but again, the mindset here is when you're talking to people like Bill Maher, you, you should not have any expectation that they're going to want to see the other side of the conversation. Conservatives, I notice, including myself, I love seeing the other side. Please help me understand why we should give a billion dollars to migrants in New York. Please tell me. I, I want to know. I want to see why it makes sense. Show me the numbers. Show me the plan. Tell me about the policy. I would love to know that. However, that's not the same attitude that I find people on the left have when conservatives do start asking questions. I'm nuts because I don't see the difference between the elephant and the mouse. And I'm telling you, I identify them differently than you do. Hillary Clinton, of course, is the original election denier. I'm sure you voted for her in 16. Well, she's not an election denier. She, she absolutely was the OG election denier. She, first of all, she came out before the sun had risen to concede the election to Trump. And then spent the next four years saying he was illegitimate. He was an illegitimate president. She, okay, well, first of all, saying, she didn't say he was an illegitimate. Yes, well, she did. You tell me exactly what oh. she said. She said those exact words. This is why, <laughs> here's the thing that I also learned about these topics, especially when you're talking about politics, is uh, especially right now, you know, Social media is everything. Everybody sees everything. And so people want to ask people what they think and how they feel about what's going on in the country. And sometimes when you're asked a question, it doesn't mean you need to an answer. I don't know if you guys recall this, uh, but there are multiple occasions where Denzel Washington, right, one of the best actors in history, he was asked a couple of political questions. Hey, who are you voting for? What do you think about this? And he totally, he totally blew it off. Why? Because he knows, number one, um, it's not his position to speak on politics like that. That That's number one. Uh, number two, he's also aware that if I'm not even in the position to speak on politics, and politics isn't even something I'm interested in understanding, why would I even give someone an answer? I've yet to actually understand and see both sides of an issue. I've yet to do a little bit of studying. I haven't even looked at the numbers. I haven't even looked at history. Like, that's the problem. Right. A lot of these celebrities and these athletes and these people, they comment on these social issues, but they have yet to be educated on them. And so when they when they comment on them, they, they feel they're doing the right thing. They, they feel like they're saying the right thing, but it's it's actually coming from a place of ignorance. And I always re remember this lesson, uh, especially one of the biggest changes in my life happened when I, I was I finally accepted the idea Hey, Devori, it's okay to say, I don't know. It's okay. It's okay to be like, you know, I don't know. I, I didn't know about that. You know, but to, to the, the problem here is he has this attitude of just wanting to, to deny, 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 deny. Nope, that's not true. That's not true. That's not true. What, what data studies or statistics have you used? What data or videos or history or receipts have you looked at? Right. To back up your claim, I guarantee you he hasn't spent a time doing that. He doesn't care. Right. He's just going to say how he feels. And that's what it is. And that's his mindset. And this was my mindset. So what's yours? What do you think about this interview that Megyn Kelly did with Bill Maher? Do you think he's deranged? Do you think he was right about some things? Do you think she was wrong about some things? You know what? Answer all of this and more in the comment section below. Thank you so much for checking out this video today, and we'll see you in the next one.